hello guys good morning or good day it's morning where i am welcome back to my kitchen today i will be sharing with you a quick porridge video i'll be mixing cornmeal with oatmeal so um what i've got in my pot now is some water i, I think i filled the pot about halfway i think and in it i've got some cinnamon leaves going so i'm just gonna jump straight into it make this video as quick as possible so i'm adding some oatmeal to the container and this is the cornmeal I'm, amount of cornmeal i'm using as i'm not doing a big um big pot of porridge just a small thing fill it with yeah that's about it and I will blend this and come back just give that a shake I'll go blend this and I'll come back so guys this is what I'm working with so in it, I've got some cornmeal, some oatmeal, and some almond milk. And now, I will add this to the pot. And again, I've got cinnamon leaves and some water in the pot. Add all of that. And I'll give that a stir. Give that a stir so you know when you stir it you avoid lumps and avoid the um the the, the porridge sticking to the pot so combine everything together and then i'll just leave that to thicken cover the pot and i'll leave that to thicken and then i will come back So guys, this has been going now for about five or six minutes and it literally has been doing the most, like it's boiled over about two or three times already. If you can see at the side of the pot, it's literally boiled over a couple times, but it's been going now for about five or six minutes and this is the consistency that it's got. So yes. So well, that is going in there. I'll just leave it for another couple of minutes as you want the cornmeal and the oatmeal to um cook properly. I'll leave it for another five minutes and then I'll come back. So guys, I this has been going now for 10 minutes and um, I've had to um, take the like tilt the lid shift the lid slightly so it doesn't boil over because as I've said it literally boiled over about two times already so half of my um, porridge was on the stove because I'm in here and I'm doing the most so um, I wasn't even paying attention and it boiled over a couple times um, as you can see, I've got some fried dumplings going here. Well, some leftover fried dumplings, and I'm frying them because I'm going to have them at the side of my porridge. So, I will now add some evaporated milk. vanilla mm. 
I'll add some salt to the pot. Whenever I'm doing anything that includes milk, I always add salt. So today I'm working with some pink Himalayan salt. I'll add some mixed spice. Mix spice. spice. Some cinnamon. We've got a stir. A mix spice. It's just lumping in the pot. If I need to find my grater so I can add some nutmeg. So there you go. I'm adding some not made and I'm adding some sugar it's um white sugar and I normally use brown sugar but when I'm doing um like cornmeal porridge I use the granulated sugar because the brown sugar changes the color of the pot of the um the cornmeal and oatmeal I'm gonna give this a turn yes so um the brown sugar kind of changes the color so I lean towards that um the white sugar side of the leaf. So yeah guys I'm gonna give that a taste but literally, that's basically it. I think that one's a little bit more sweet now. Sugar. Listen, half of my porridge went away. Like went away because I'm in here. As I said, I'm in here doing the most. I'm doing my dumplings and I'm doing some washing up, and then I'm going through my phone, responding to messages and stuff like that. So took my out the porridge for a couple of minutes, and half of it was on the stove. So I was literally in here just cleaning what was on the stove and cleaning the side of the pot. Um, yeah, that's what you get for not paying attention when you're cooking. Give that a taste. That's ready, guys. So I'm gonna complete my dumpling, reduce the heat on that. Well, slightly cover the pot as I don't want to cover it, and then all that mess happens again. So um, I'm just going to finish my dumpling guys and then I'll come back and let you see what's going on for breakfast this morning.